Hello, my lovely Cancerians. I hope that you're all doing well. So my name is Christiana. I will be performing this reading for you today regarding the energies that will be affecting you during the time period of August 31st through September 13th to the 14th. Yeah, basically a two week period. <laughs> Please remember that we all have masculine and feminine energies. You can be the person that I'm talking about, or it could be someone that you're involved with. All right. I'm going to start out with the music and art oracles here. And I will have uh, all the decks that I use here listed below if you're interested. Okay. Let's see what comes out here. All right, we have Andy Warhol at the bottom. Hmm, Tracy Emin right here in the center of everything. <laughs> She's a little saucy, right? Okay, let's see. You're above John Lennon and below Filippo Marinetti. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull more cards before we get into this. Huh. Okay. I'm using the Cat Tarot. This deck was donated by a fellow Cancerian. Thank you, dear. Thank you, Maria. I hope you're doing well. This is a fun little deck. This is definitely, we have Queen of Wands here. That goes along with this uh, kind of sexy energy right here in the middle. <laughs> the Queen of Wands, she's on fire. All right. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got here. The present, Ace of Cups. Above, Justice. Below, the Three of Wands. Okay. See what we have in our air energy. The devil. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Okay, let's see what we've got here. The fire. Temperance. Hmm. Uh, the earth element. Sorry, I'm just laughing. Eight of wands. And the hermit in the water element. Hmm. That's really interesting with all of this energy here. Hmm. Okay. So, important element of the past. We have the Nine of Cups. And the future here. Seven of Pentacles. Did y'all have Seven of Pentacles last time? That's... We have Ace of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. Alright, I want to take a look here. Alright, that looks pretty good. <clears throat> Okay, so first thing that I'm seeing is, you know, first of all, I, I'm almost positive that you all had the Seven of Pentacles here last time, and you have it here again, which makes me feel, and we had the devil in this, in this spot, I, I 
don't know, I don't think it was the last time, but the time before that. So it tells me that um, you might not necessarily be following <laughs> the advice that Spirit gives you, right? This, um, since we had it last time, you know, there's this period of re-evaluation, right? Being very practical about things because we see practicality, you know, touching this, right? The hermit and temperance. And we see kind of a very, um, these these cards right here are very cohesive with the, the bluish colors, right? And over here, with this Nine of Cups coming in, in from the past, it's kind of all over the place, right? We've got all these different colors. We've got the Eight of Wands, which when it, it, these cards, you know, tr touching Tracy Emin here, and nothing is wrong with Tracy Emin. Don't get me wrong there. Um, but I feel like there's this... Um, you know, when, when the Nine of Cups... Nine of Cups comes up with the devil. It's telling me there are, there's an and temperance over here as well, right? There might be some overindulgence of some sort, right? This doesn't have to be alcohol necessarily. It often is with temperance and Nine of Cups, but it doesn't have to be, right? Take what resonates. But this does seem to be, you know, this is in the air position and you know there might be some obsessive thoughts right um and this could just be wishful thinking right obsessive thinking about something and you know with it touching this eight of wands the eight of wands is basically energy right this can mean all sorts of things that have been uh, associated with it but its basic energy is, it's Mercury and Sagittarius, right? This is thoughts. <laughs> Mercury is all about our, the mind, right? And we associate with communication as well. But, and, and Sagittarius is, you know, that kind of, um, uh, you know, big picture thinking, right? This is about, you know, having focused thought, but when it's in association with the Nine of Cups, which can be, you know, wishful thinking, um, fantasizing kind of thing, and the devil in the air position, I'm really getting the feeling that you're spending way too much time thinking about this, right? <laughs> And it's not, you know, it's just, it, it is, you know, it's got you scattered, right? It's got you, and it, when you're in this kind of um, obsessive space, you can't, it, there is no uh, manifestation, right? In this card, we see cats, you know, this is usually the wish card, but in the and we usually see you know people with the the cups lined up and this we see and this is kind of like a justicey kind of feeling right we see a white cat and black cat and they're staring at these empty bowls these empty cups just waiting for them to suddenly feel themselves right it, it works for cats a lot of time right they stand in front of the dish and look at it and we fill it up um but so, you know, there's just, there's nothing substantial there, though. We don't know if that's going to happen. So I feel like this is, yeah, this is, for me, this card is very scorpionic, right? Which can be a little fixated as well. So it's concentrating on finding, not losing yourself in your art. And I'm wanting to replace the art with thought. <laughs> right? Um, this, I feel like with this card and this card, there is this need to focus on self-love. Right? 
And this is hitting this temperance and hermit energy. And the hermit is your emotions, right? Your uh, relationships. So this is telling me that, um, you know, you're kind of closed off or the person that you're dealing with is, right? They're in this bag, kind of crouched down. And, you know, with this temperance card here in the fire, uh, and it is a fire, but, you know, there's this need to temper the fire, right? As we see all this water in here. We see a, an orange cat, an orange goldfish. <laughs> but, you know, there's all this water in here. There's this need to, you know, and we see all this blue, this calming. And I feel like you are going to do it, but this is asking you. And by doing so, we can, you know, start to really hone in on our... Um, our plans, right? How we're going to practically achieve something. Now, I think it's so interesting. This is, you know, you're above, like, you know, what is going on in your conscious life. Um, and this justice card is so interesting to me. And I, I love how the colors are complementing each other here. It says, not everything you see is a mirage, not everything you hear is a lie, right? And I feel like that's kind of, we're going on, we don't have the whole picture, right? All we see in this picture is a cat biting somebody's hand, and it says justice, but we don't know what actually happened here. Who's getting the justice? Is the cat biting the guy's hand? Is that justice? Or is justice in recognizing the cat's instinctive behavior and not retaliating, right? Like, because we see peace here. There's like this idea of, you know, nonviolence I'm, I'm getting. Um, And just knowing, you know, we don't see everything, right? Having this idea that justice will be served, right? Keeping positive, this yellow is standing out to me as well. Knowing that the universe is behind this, right? There are things going on behind the scenes, right? Behind this curtain that we don't see. And your subconscious, you know, we have the Three of Wands and Filippo Marinetti. And Filippo Marinetti, to me, is about the evolution of the masculine. And this is probably going on, you know, this is your subconscious. So this might be, you know, something that you're aware of. You know, you are thinking about the future, right? Forward march. And we see these planes. And, we, you know, the Three of Wands is about looking into the future, making plans for the future. So, you know, you're completely absorbed in this, right? So there's this really conscious need to balance, to calm the mind. Yes. That's fine. That's coming out finally. Okay. I mean, not that the other thing that I said wasn't true, but I do feel like there is this Yeah, and, and, you know, knowing that this is happening, you know, and this is, subconsciously, you know it's happening too, right? So you can, you know, let go. I feel like it, you really, really need to practice some uh, breath work, some meditation, right? You really need to commit to that. Or else you're just, you know, this was in your future last time, <laughs> you know, and there's this, um, and I really feel, you know, this is grounding energy, seven of pentacles, this is being patient, right, this is touching this temperance, it's, um, you know, reevaluating your personal life, right, what is it, where, where do you put your priorities, what needs to be adjusted, 
right? Patience. Patience while the bounty comes in. We do have one, 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 and then we have an Ace of Swords at the bottom. More of this blue energy, right? This is like, you know, with this Justice being here and this Ace of Swords being at the bottom, I feel like you are having a realization at this time. The Hermit here, you know, going within yourself and really, you know, this is, Nine of Cups is about... You know, learning how to be happy on your own. This Ace of Cups is talking about that too, right? And this is, a, you know, concentrate on finding yourself, right? This is a time, this, this time is meant to be spent looking within, finding ourselves. And if we're spending too much time worrying about, hmm, you know, what you want to happen, right, rather than looking at where you are right now, being present in the moment, and, uh, it's not gonna ha you know, I just keep on saying this, it, it's, it's not gonna happen until you complete the nines, right? We <laughs> and you've got to be patient with yourself. Also, with this temperance card here, and this is in your fire, you know, yes, there's this need to be uh, patient, but this is also, you know, this is your creative juices, and I do feel like, you know, we do say concentrate on finding yourself in your art. Decay can be a fertilizer for new ideas, and then we have this Ace of cup, Cups right here, right? So I feel like you do have a new idea. And I feel like this is about experimenting with um, your creative ideas. And, that, you know, when you get creative like that, when you start experimenting, you know, this, this temperance, it, this is a way to make some magic happen, right? We have a lot of major arcana out here. A lot of energy is just, it needs to be, you know, honed. It needs to be calmed down a little bit, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Because we go from the nine to the ace, right? And both of these are about the self. So I feel like, or they're supposed to be. All right. Let's get a piece of art. Because I really, I feel like that's all that really needs to be said there. Yeah. Just taking a quick look over everything. Just one more time. Um... Yeah, look at this. We've got this eight ace temperance, fire, water, fire, water. So, you know, as, this is, this can be really good energy. We just have to rein it in a little bit, right? Focus, find the balance. All right. For cancer, I'm afraid. <laughs> For cancer. All right, let's go over here. Okay, to the left. All right. <laughs> Reservoir. And look at all. Look at these clocks. Right. It's this. This and timing is so huge. And. We've got to use it, it wisely. And that, you know, this Seven of Pentacles, it, it kind of feels like reservoir energy to me, right? We're, we need to evaluate what's in 
the bank, right? So to speak. Not, it could be like literally like the bank and where you're investing. But it's more, you know, invest, where are you investing your time? Where are you investing your energy? Um, do you have extra resources there, right? How do you build them back up when, the, when they get depleted, right? This is like, a, a, I'm really getting this evaluation uh, energy from this reservoir. There's a lot going on here, right? There's like this excavation looking stuff going on. We see this wheel right here, right? The wheel is turning, but we have to do the work, right? This is all this inner work excavating and, and tearing down in order to build back up again. And I'm just like really getting pulled over here to the Cyclops and like, <laughs> <laughs> this energy is coming through this you know kind of he's like smiling ever so you know it's like this tunnel vision on this um figure right here right this this escapism that's happening here i'm seeing that here it's like no come back over here <laughs> totally this tunnel vision that that I'm seeing here right and just like this kind of fantasy type of energy and it's like no you've left all this stuff undone over here you get back to work you know time t the time is is running yeah get back to work All right, let's get um, some closing guidance. Where do I want to go? I want to go. I keep on looking at the moonology, so we'll we'll go there. Ha! Huh. Swear to God. <laughs> They don't help it, uh, help you any. Look at this. At the bottom of the deck is New Moon and Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. I swear. <sighs> For Cancer, please. Closing guidance for Cancer. August 31st through September 13th. Closing guidance, please, Spirit. Two cards, please, for Cancer. Well, there's one of them. Prosperity lies ahead. Oh, uh, look at that. Believe in the impossible, Blue Moon. All right. We're gonna, I thought for a second that perhaps... I should get a different deck, and that's what I'm feeling with that new, and I was looking at the Angels and Ancestors too, so we'll get one from there. Okay. Cancer, please. Closing guidance. August 31st through September 13th. Close the guidance, please. Ooh, got two. Wise one. Wow. Yeah, look at that. We have Eagle. See from a higher perspective at the bottom. The wise one. Grow within your current situation. <laughs> And that came out with the sun. Enjoy success and happiness. All right. So let's read from this one real quick. Where are you, Okay. 
New Moon in Taurus. Well, what is going on here? I've lost my mind. All right. <clears throat> This card will often come up when you're inquiring about a financial matter or when you're doubting your self-worth. The card suggests you have what you want, including material things, but you must believe in yourself. This comes down to the laws of attraction. Value yourself and others will value you too. You can create abundance. You know, and I, as I was picking this up, you know, that Six of Pentacles has been coming up a lot, right? And I think that you all got it. At least that message keeps coming out, you know, about, you know, who's, you know, the, the equal give and take, right? And that is the moon in Taurus. That card is represent, you know, yeah. So that's interesting here. Um... You can create abundance. Taurus is associated with luxurious Venus, and this card holds the new moon energy. So now is a good time to make a 12-month financial plan. Huh, look at that. <laughs> this card can also signal the start of a new relationship or of sexier times. If you've been wrestling with something for a long time, the new moon in sturdy Taurus is a sign not to give up just yet. Getting, getting clear on what you value most will help you find peace. Yep, okay. Um, take some time out to pamper yourself. And start a standing order to a savings account, no matter how small. Okay. So that's interesting. We talked about several of those things, right? And as, always just take what resonates with that. All right. Wise one. <clears throat> Knuckle down, be reliable and committed. Be open to wisdom and insights from your elders. The wisdom of the wise one is based on something that the younger generation is often lacking. Commitment and reliability. When this card appears, you are being guided to continue working on your growth and expansion within your current situation. Be committed to your tasks and projects. It can be very easy to get bored or overwhelmed, but persevere. You are being reminded of how it feels to be let down and experience unreliability. And that is not who you were born to be. So keep working on what you're working on because it's going to be extremely beneficial for you in the long run. Okay. And... The sun. <clears throat> know that doors are opening for you. Follow up on new projects, ventures, and ideas. Connect with the inner fire that is driving you forward. You are being surrounded by the brightness of the sun at this time. Opportunities to feel and be successful are swirling and dancing around you. Relationships and friendships progress, progress with joy, and you feel you will feel happy and uplifted. If you're not somewhere bright and sunny right now, there will be other ways in which you can enjoy warmth and joy. Solar energy brings health and vitality and can energize and warm, and it also encourages everything to grow. The energy of expansion is with you at this time, and you are being offered the perfect opportunity to move forward. If you want to bring something to life or are ready to take a new step in a relationship, the sun will bring the right energy to you. If you are asking a question, the answer is most definitely yes. All right.
<clears throat> it's interesting, she's sitting right here beside the hermit and the wise one is kind of, it's like basically the uh, feminine equivalent to, to the hermit, right? Okay, ooh, that came flying out. Soul healing, the soul star chakra, six inches above your head, and then we have Peace at the bottom of the deck, the crown chakra, family underneath that. Okay. So yeah, this card is very much about, you know, the chaos that surrounds you, you know, that things are kind of difficult, but through all of that, you are healing, right? Everything that's happening is in order to heal you, right? Our lives get stirred up in ways that we, it's hard to understand sometimes, but all of it is divinely guided, right? And this is also talking about your uh, third eye chakra, right? It's all lit up here and it's all this purple. So like I said, you know, I see <clears throat> it right here, it's, it's in the devil, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and I mean, I think there is, a, you know, that is a message too, right? Like whatever you're thinking about, it's happening, right? It's like it, you're so worried about, and you know, kind of obsessed with it, but it's happening, right? It's happening. You don't have to put that energy there though, right? The, the energy needs to be put on yourself and on your future, right? Okay. Okay. So, yeah. I feel like this is supposed to go right here with this, right? When an extra card came out here, we used this deck. So we're just going to, we're going to stop right there. Yeah. That feels right to me. Because these two look alike, right? This is like the sun shining from, you know, you can feel it, right? Look at that. And then, yeah. That's what's happening. Okay, cool. Because that allows me to spend a little bit more time talking about all this wondrous underlying energy here. I love this. These, these right here. Like I feel like this um, Andy Warhol. Actually, I'm gonna move back down here because he's kind of like, you know, these. Uh, I don't know if there's an actual decision. A lot of times I'll see him as, you know, there's a decision to be made, and like looking at it from all these different angles, and you know, you might. I feel like, yeah, I guess there is that to it. Um, but what's the choice going to be, right? The Campbell's soup or the banana, right? Which one is, is healthier for you? <laughs> you know, there's this sense of, um, you know, it says eat dessert before dinner. Um, so your health and this kind of... Um, addictive behavior I feel is and just kind of obsessing over something you know you're thinking about it a little bit too much right we've seen that so the decision right we see right here it's really all in black and white it's really quite easy you don't have to do all of this right what's healthier what feels like it's going to be better for you right it also says wanting can be better than having. <laughs> so yeah, and I think that you do come to 
you know, and this, all this dark blue, this is representative of Archangel Michael. Now, I don't usually um, do the angel thing, but that came through to me. So, there it is. Um, you, uh, Archangel Michael, if you uh, would like some help with this, ask, right? Your angels are there. They're... Um, ready to help you see the answer, see clearly, right? This is clarity coming in. And this is asking you to, you know, kind of step out a little bit, right? You're, you're kind of zoned in, right? That, that tunnel vision, you know, zoom out, right? Kind of look at everything in perspective. And that's going to bring you this clarity here, bring you peace, right? Because from the looks of this, you're a bit scattered, right? And no matter how impossible whatever it is that you're thinking about is, it's possible. And I think it's going to happen for you. You just have to believe, right? That it's like, you know, this, is, this talks about, you know, the stars coming together to make it possible. And... Man, if there was ever a time that anything is possible, it is right now. We have so much going on, right? This is like the breakdown of the old and making way for, for you know, all possibility. Anything is possible. Math, quantum physics, right, has shown us. Anything is possible. There is no th such thing as zero, really. It's just a placeholder. All right. Um, I feel like that's all I need to say. I hope that this was okay. I just I I couldn't help it. I looked down and the Empress and Mother Earth were sitting here. And we were talking about um, the mother issues last time, weren't we? Whether, you know, this could be about, you know, your, um, you could be a mother and having, you know, some issues in, you know, in regards to that. And this is, this message is the same, right? You're, you're, you're transforming, you're being held, you're being comforted. But this is there again. So it, explore that, right? Whatever, you know, it comes up for you. You know, trust your intuition when it comes to that. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. I hope that that was helpful. I hope it resonated. And until next time, my beautiful Cancerians, much love.